Hey Trinity family, it's Pastor Matt. Just want to reach out to you today to make you aware of some really exciting things that's going on in our community here at Trinity EPC. Uh, our leadership has been praying over the last couple months and we really feel passionately led by the Lord that we need to call our congregation into a month-long focus on prayer and fasting within our congregation. We feel very specifically it's time to seek the Lord, it's time to get serious and to hear from Him, and that He has an amazing thing He wants to communicate to each one of us at Trinity over the course of this month, including our leadership, to help us understand what He has that's next for us in building the kingdom. So we've prayed for the entire month of February and been fasting as leadership, as staff, elders, and deacons. And now we'd like to invite you into that for the month of March. So here's some things that we want to encourage you to do. And when you come out to the Sunday worship services throughout the month of March, as you enter the services, each Sunday that you come in, we'll begin the service with a focused prayer time and then a guided prayer time. So please enter the congregation reverently and quietly so that we can be respectful of others who are praying. On top of that, each Sunday night in the month of March from 4 to 5, We'll be spending time gathering together to pray as a congregation, and we want to invite you to come out for that, and we want to ask you to make special plans to be able to attend for those meetings. We also want to place into your hands this prayer guide that was provided for us by First Presbyterian. They work with this organization, and they brought us into their prayer circle, praying this through throughout the month of March and into April. These prayer guides will be available to you on Sunday morning when you come in the narthex. So if you grab one of these, they're free. And each and every day, they have a section that you can pray for for that day that will help guide your prayers and will help you understand what you should be about uh, in your prayer time, help you be more focused and guided in that so you can cover everything the Lord's doing in His kingdom. So follow along with us in prayer. And on top of that, just to spur you on to love and good deeds, we're going to be taking the time to post one of these videos on uh, Facebook every single day so that you can access it and you can find one member of our leadership to pray along with to help spur you on to love and good deeds as you pray. It's always good to have someone encourage us to pray and to pray with, and this is one of the new ways we can do it through the gift of social media. So I'm going to start our month-long emphasis today, and I'm going to pray for us. So I want to encourage you to take some time and pray with me now. Let's pray together. Father God, we come to you. We press into you now. And we thank you that we can be your sons and daughters. Thank you that you didn't just create this world and then set it spinning and step back, but you also chose to reveal yourself to us. So we bless you in that. And Lord Jesus, we know we could never know the Father. We could never have a relationship with him if it wasn't for your sacrifice on the cross, choosing to glorify the Father and to love us by shedding your own blood and helping us be free of our sin and restored to God by taking on his wrath onto yourself. And we know, Lord Jesus, that you sent us the Holy Spirit and that he dwells in our heart now through faith. He empowers us to pray. He allows us to connect with you and have a relationship. So we come to you, Holy Spirit, when you say, this month, would you teach us how to pray? Help us to pray according to your will. Help us to pray your thoughts, your thoughts for our families, for ourselves, for our church, for our community of Florence and everything else that you lay on our heart. We thank you in advance for the wonderful work you're going to do. We know you have great plans in store for this city. And you know that you're calling out so many churches around to lift up your name and to share the gospel everywhere in Florence. And Trinity is one of those. How can we glorify you? What's on your heart? How do we build the kingdom? What are the resources you've put in our hands that you want to leverage? Who are the people you're going to bring our way? Who are the people from within our body you're going to raise up to take leadership roles in this community and within our church to glorify you over the course of this year? How can we honor you in everything that takes place? Father God, will you give us discipline and focus to every single day in the month of March? Seek after you. Sit before you. Carve out time to listen to your voice and to be in your word. Would you motivate us in that, to pray with our families and our children, Lord, our wives, and our workplace? Father, would you help us to gather as a congregation and pray together? Would you give us the grace to fast off of things that we love and that we desire so that we can show our love for you more deeply, so that we can hunger and desire the things of you more, so that we can fast off of some things so we can feast on the things of God? Lord, we're waiting on you. We know you want to reveal things to us that are going to glorify you. They're going to help build your kingdom. And we want to be obedient in that. Please give us the grace to do that. Use us this month, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.